Hi guys, I am Centaurian Muppig and well to, welcome along to FIFA on PC. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, reviews at the time of the week of releasing in America and in the UK, since I'm in the UK, FIFA is scoring mediocre on Metacritic. I thought I'd play out playing the first FIFA to get me into this, but then I thought Maybe I'll do it the other way. I'll play this one and then I'll play Thief Golds. Because I've never played any of the other Thiefs before. Now, apparently this is all done for PC. The people who did this build is apparently the people who did Deus Ex for Revolution for the PC. So I expect something just as good as that. If I was probably stick an Xbox 360 pad, it might work, but I won't bother doing that. As you can see, we've got a controller there anyway. A bunch of options there. I'm not going to spend much time, I don't know what stuff are, but if you're interested in what options there are there, then you can see. And the interesting thing is, between normal and high presets, I didn't have much of a difference in FPS. I'm going to stick it on normal. I do run off a laptop, but it's a Samsung Gamer 7 series, so it's not a slouch. Or wasn't a slouch. Right, let's delve into a new game. Alright, so we can be a rogue. So, easy mode. Thief, normal mode, a master, or a customized. Well, first time playing, I'll go with Thief. Well, maybe I want to change the difficulty if I started playing, and maybe I don't care about Steam achievements. But yes, we'll continue. Maybe you should get the option to disable it, or maybe you should actually make the claim game clever enough that you can adjust the vary and get the achievements for whichever mode was set for when you achieved it in the game. There's one thing the city's taught me. You can put a price on anything. Secrets, reputations, a life, and trust. If you have to ask, you can't afford it. But then I suppose none of that matters when you're me. After all, when did I ever pay for anything? I don't know. You tell me. So, we got a picture of a naked dude on the wall. A dead dude. No, oh, no, he's not dead. He's drunk. So. Nice view. Some shiny things over here. I suppose he's gonna wake up in a minute, isn't he? Perhaps when we get the last shiny thing. Is that it? We got all the shiny stuff. Alright, see you later, drunkard. Press space to climb low obstacles. Busy down there. I'm surprised he didn't see me then. He was looking up here. Oh, I can climb through another window. Lift. Oh, tappy, is it? Oh, I'm pressing W. <laughs> A door we can't go through. So we'll go through. Oh, we can peek. So what does that mean? Someone's a bird lover. That painting's more my taste. I should take a closer look. Yeah, someone didn't design this for keyboard and mouse. 
even though it's a port, not a port, a, I don't know, it is a port obviously, uh, pull switch, move the mouse for feel for hidden switches. Well, I don't know if it's there because I've got no interaction whatsoever other than if I just hammer the E key. I'm pressing E, I just have to... Oh. Did I do something wrong? I have no idea. Maybe I wasn't looking at that circular white dot which appeared at the last second. I'll have to check my own video later on. Like these, yeah. Uh, Okay, that was a bit of a mousy movement. It does feel like those controls are set up more for a controller than anything with force feedback. Should we go out here then? Well, they do call the rooftops the thieves' hide. I just hope that's not who I think it is. And who is it? Who do you think it is? I wonder if Garrett can swim. Oh look, a lockbox just there. Which contains a rope arrow. Yoink! Uh, hold to draw the bow. Release to fire it. times hold shift to run and then press space to jump oh, so let's try it eh? nice of her to wait for me <laughs> 